but now we can set this back in our either in our vise or in our um, block clamp um, and and get to where we can file this and shape this the way we want to if you've got a belt sander this is the time to break out the belt sander um, you can turn your belt sander upside down and put it in the vise don't crush it but you gotta have it so it don't fall out and you can use the belt sander upside down it and work it on that um, but uh, we can file this um, if you've got big big huge places still and you notice in those you can go back and cut them again if need be um, minus, minus reasonable these hollow places here in this particular design we're going to do those with a half round file uh, any of the flats we're going to do with a flat file um, and you won't take it easy with your files now because you you'll chip up your your wood if you're going to file too fast get a get a reasonably you know uh, less aggressive file don't, don't use a wood rasp or something on this just right now and then once we get the profile done what I usually do do the profile first then I'll come back in here and I'll start hollowing and, and working on this edge and get it to fit my hand the way I like it and uh, so I'm gonna go do that and uh, we'll show you a little bit of that we'll set, set it up and maybe do this backside with the file and then we'll, sh we'll show you what we're talking about all right we're going to file this back corner here what's going to want to chip is this bottom edge right here so we got to be careful on that and we may have to flip it around a couple times and do some one way then the next I've got a pretty good size flat file it's medium rough not very smooth yet I've got right much material to take off so we're going to start with this one and all I'm doing is going across both pieces I'm trying to keep this file perfectly level if I can this piece on this side is a little higher at this moment we're going to start on that side. And it will dirty up your file. If you got a file card, you can do clean that out good. Um, push forward with your file, not backwards, if, if you want it to keep clean or clean as you can get it. Uh, but eventually it will clog your file up. And you'll have to clean it with the file card. And we do have our knife protected again because we don't want to slip. Let me put a little crank on that. But we're pushing down on this thing pretty good, making it file it here. than I would like it to be. But you can tell when you get down to the metal, um, it'll make a different noise. We're not quite there yet. But we are getting pretty close. hear that or not I'm to the metal right there so I'm gonna switch it to go down here on the very end where it's wanting to tear on me but that's okay as long as it don't tear off too huge a piece we're going to round that inward and we may even cut off some of this once we get down to what we really want and see what it looks like
bring you up here where you can see that hopefully and you can see the shiny metal right there and back here it's not quite there now I've got some little fancy file work on that that I'd like to protect a little bit so we may just stay, stay off of that till we get to sanding if we file on that too much I'm afraid we're going to take our fancy work off now we've got a little height a little high spot right there this one's lower so it may fail on it some but that's what you're looking for that kind of finish all the way around if, if you've got your metal shaped the way you want it once you touch the metal with the file leave it go but we're working on getting this good and not at an angle one way or another at this point now once we get it all the way around flat then we'll start working on our angles and I'll bring you back at that point way back took a few minutes and I have a belt sander so that's what I chose to use to do this but y'all saw it didn't take very long with a file belt sander is a little faster um, my holes for my rivets are a little sloppier than I would like them to be but that's the drill bit that I had that was the best fit for that um, and that's due to the hole we drilled into the metal more than, the, than this hole we drilled here and we went around it and we've got it to be close to the metal it don't have to be perfect at this moment we can always go back and do more hard to glue them glue the wood back on my eyepiece of walnut had a little piece of white in it and I wanted to keep that if yours comes with a little piece of white and you don't want that put it on the outside and you can get rid of it you can put it I could have switched this around and put it down here our block of wood was about that long and we'd have cut 90 percent of that off to start with and then when we shaped it it would all went away but um, I like the the white it gives it a little bit of character and so I chose to keep it but you can certainly choose to get rid of it any flaw that you see in your knife handle material put it at the far end we give you plenty of it cut it off get rid of it if, if you choose sometimes a knot or a uh, little funky grain looks pretty cool um, I like it, it makes it uh, makes it look unique all right try to keep your hand out of the oil on your vise that's why we're using our um, block clamp because we've got oil all over this table um, normally when I do my woodwork and I take it to a different spot but we don't have any lights in there so hard to film now what we're looking at now is to shape this handle now uh, on my original uh, design of this handle I had a uh, I had this actually come down something like that and I took off this end chunk of the wood here straight down actually rounded it down to the metal but pretty much straight down there right here we're gonna cut off this portion and we're gonna cut off that portion now I waited till now to do this so that we had the shape outlined our blocks still in the in the flat so we can still cut it on our with our coping saw real easy we can now put the two pieces together and treat them as one if we choose to sand it or file it again so we got our um, rivets in here once we sh finish this profile we'll um, come back and we'll set it up again and show you we're going to turn it this way and draw a little bit of a profile on this and this is more of a personal all of this is more of a personal feel uh, your knife should fit your hand if you're building it for someone else you should let them try it out at this stage and tell you what they need to do if you can um, and but typically it's more or less uh, uh, kind of an egg shape down at this end and then we I generally flare mine out a little bit up here at the front give you a little bit more so you don't slide off into your into your blade now some knife designs will have a um, a guard on them this particular one didn't didn't I didn't draw it with a guard so we didn't put a guard on it but you you certainly could have put a guard on this uh, if you chose to um, and leave these handles square and flat like they are now and put your guard on there so we're gonna go cut this out and we'll be right back we have removed our metal out of this we still have our little uh, rivet sticking out 
So we can put these two pieces of wood together now and treat them as one. So that's how we cut it. We cut that. We had them stuck together just as you see them here. We cut both of those. So we treated that piece of wood as one piece. Now we're going to go sand it a little bit uh, or file it either way um, and get it to the profile that we want. Again, we're leaving our line on here so that we have something to go to. When you cut, leave the line. When you file, go right to the edge of the line and, and you can split the line. Now, our line is pretty heavy with our marker. And normally we wouldn't uh, draw on a good piece of wood with a big black marker, but we know that we're going to file this off and, uh, around these corners here. So the marker will go away, but I would suggest y'all using a pencil or if you need something darker, even an ink pen, but draw it so that you know it's going to go away. The, the outside marks we drew were on the inside, you know, when we did our outline, were on the inside piece, so that didn't matter. And these marks are, are on the part we'll see, so like I said, I wouldn't suggest using a black marker, but we did that for the camera. All right, we're back from our filing and sanding. And I didn't quite go down to that line because I got it to where I thought I liked it, and I would like to try it on the, on the blade. I uh, didn't try it on the blade, so we're going to look at it again at this point. This, a lot of this is fiddly work right now with this handle. It's you got to make it um, fit your hand. You got to make it, you know, do what you want it to do. I like this little design element right here. Some of you may not. You don't have to do this. Um, but uh, I'm going to try to see if we can get this um, pretty sharp here. We don't want it terribly sharp because we fall down on it. But if we if we wanted to, we could bust a can open or um, maybe use our fire steel back here to keep it off of our blade. Might sharpen that up a little bit, you know, on the bottom to uh, use our fire steel or even the top, keep that a square edge. Um, lots of possibilities if you got a little teeny piece of metal. Might even sharpen it so we could start our drill us a hole where well, you could do lots of things. You could flute it out where you could drill you a hole with it kind of like an awl, um, but lots of possibilities if you've got that. Um, but, but I like that part, part on this particular knife. Uh, you know, it fit, fits well with the design. Kind of reminds me of an eagle claw, so that's kind of what I was going for when I designed this knife. Now, I like that. We, we've got it pretty good. Feels pretty good. My hands are not huge, but fairly large, and this, this pattern here fits it pretty good. Now what we're going to look at doing now is we're going to start sculpting this and this again is all about the feel of it in your hand. Do you like the feel of it? Do you not like the feel of it? You're trying to keep both sides even and so this is the point you want to slow down and really take your time whether you're filing or whether you're sanding um, with a belt sander or what, whatever method you're using to remove this